Chance Oriro. Hmm? Detective Chance Oriro. I... 30 years. After 30 fucking years in this shit, filling out paperwork, 30 years. That's 33,843 cups of bad coffee. 21,600 disgusting donuts. And 10,800 ham sandwiches from the nasty ass Indian fucking deli from across the street. I get to retire tomorrow. So I'm supposed to be spending my last day on the job breaking all the young officers balls. You know how much they're gonna suffer the next 30 years of their life in this godforsaken place. Well, I'm in Jamaica. I'm lying on a beach, butt naked, sipping a pina colada next to this hot chick named Chantel who wants to fuck me. Me, of all people. Instead, I'm stuck here with you. A crazy bitch in the other room. And another bitch in the hospital with 80 stitches on her head. Do you have any fucking idea how much fucking paperwork that is? Walking like steam, what you mean to me? It's like fire in my eyes, and now I truly see all the questions from the mountainside. Ten tablets instead of two, you did my vibe. Water. This girl is really nice, she's sweet, okay? It's gonna be a while before I ever make a move like that. Well, honey, don't wait too long. Women get bored fast these days. Where are you gonna take her? I asked her if she wanted to go see a movie. Mm -hmm. She said she would rather come chill at my place. Chill? What? At your place? Oh, honey, you are gonna fuck. Hell yeah, you're gonna fuck! Listen, I want you to close your eyes, take a deep breath, and realize that tomorrow night is your night. Now this is what I want you to do. I want you to go to the bathroom, get the electric razor, I want you to shave all your pubic hair, balls and ass, make it look like my head, because you never know how freaky she might get. And then... Are you listening to this? Honey, you never know. <laughs> Hold on, I'm not finished. And then, I want you to jump in the shower, I want you to scrub the shit out of your wiener, because my friend comes tomorrow night, she will put her mouth on you. Okay, enough. Look, I haven't had a date in over two years, okay? Look, I, I know you care about me and you want to see me happy. Oh, Ashley, but... we just want you to get laid. Oh, and what do you know about getting laid? What? I'm Kenny! Sweetie, there comes a time <laughs> in your life when you crave having sex with someone else other than yourself. Just do what he says. sound so much sexier coming out of your mouth. Mm, okay. Guess what? What? Today is my birthday. Really? Mm -hmm. Happy birthday. <laughs> I, I wish I could have known ahead of time. I, the only cause... sad thing is, is I don't have anyone to celebrate with. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you like to come over for a little while? I could blow the candle. You could eat my cake. You'd love it. I'll bet red is your favorite color. Mrs. Burns, I, I have to go to bed. I have to get up early tomorrow. I can tuck you in if you want. Thank you, but I... Sam, trust me. 
I know all about your sadness and worries. I hear you every night. Hear me what? Your voice, the TV. Hmm? Sweetie, I know that you watch porn every night, and I want you to know that I am totally into that stuff. Mrs. Burns. Cece, it's okay. I know you have so much passion packed inside of you, and I could help you drop your loads. Okay, gotta go. Good night, Mrs. Burns. What about my cake? Hey, you. Hey, I'm fine. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm good. I'm healthy. Are you healthy? I'm fine. Why? Nothing. It's just uh, your voice sounds a little different. My voice? Um, maybe because I was at work talking to clients on the phone all day? I but it's nothing really. Do I sound that bad? No, no you, you sound fine. Like you always do. So we're still on for tomorrow, right? Of course. Tomorrow night, 8 o'clock. I'll be there. Yeah, me too. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. You know, you seem like a nice guy. You got no priors. Never been arrested before. Never even been in trouble. Not even a parking ticket. It's because I've never owned a car. So you're a comedian. What? No, I... So we got a comedian in the house. No, I didn't mean that I was... Shut the fuck up! Are you even allowed to curse? I'm retiring. Tomorrow I can do whatever the fuck I want. Now, are you gonna tell me what happened? What is wrong? Nothing. You mean nothing? Did you call it off? No. Then what? It's my landlord. What is it this time? She's acting strange lately. Lately? She's always coming on to you. She wants to fuck. You know, you're probably the only human being on earth who still surprises me every time with the F word. Why don't you tell her to back off? Teresa, believe me, I've tried. It's not that easy. What do you mean it's not that easy? Bitch, back the fuck off. That's all you gotta say. My lease is up. Oh, fuck. Exactly. You know, I'm just trying to keep things cool between us until... Okay, can we just not talk about her for one day and focus on getting you laid? Oh my god, you and Kenny. I'm not getting laid tonight, so just let it go. We're gonna have a good time, it's gonna be fine. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow my ass, Sam. You better leave your phone on, you'll need me.
going to let me in? Oh, of course. Come on in. Um, welcome to Casa de Sam. <laughs> I didn't know you were bilingual. I'm a man of many talents. Oh, um, have a seat. Uh, I wasn't sure if you wanted um, red or white wine, so I got both. What do you like? Do you have any beer? Beer? If you don't have any, I can go get some. No! It's not a problem. Are you kidding? I have plenty of beer. I'm the beer king. I never run out of beer. A man of many talents. Cheers. Sam. What's up? I hope you didn't get the wrong idea when I suggested coming over to your place instead of going out. What idea? You know. Oh! No, 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 not at all. Nothing like that. I, I would never. I don't mean never, just not now. Maybe later. No, I, I, no, I don't mean later, as in later on tonight. I mean another day. No, no I don't mean that either. Uh, not that I don't want to. I would love to, but we don't have to. I'm okay. Are you okay? Because I, I really need to shut up for a minute. <laughs> what? That was adorable. Thank you. Shut up. No. What? You are not the lead singer of Flock of Seagulls. Oh, come on. Look at that, you that was for a, a talent show, you know? Yeah, you dress right. up as 80s groups. Oh, I just, I, We're going to tone down the hairspray. <laughs> yeah, that was moose. Thank you. I can't believe how different you looked. Yeah, well, yeah. now that you've seen my pictures from the dark days, do you think we be here like this? Do you still think I'm sexy? <laughs> of course I do. Really? Yeah. Can I ask you a question? It's personal. Shoot. You were with your girlfriend for four years, right? I mean, that's a really long time. Yes. But you don't have any pictures of her. They're all gone. Well, what happened? She left. Is there any particular reason why she left? I mean, I'm sorry. I tend to ask too many questions. It's a habit I picked up from work. Please feel free to stop me no, anytime. No. Really. Ask me anything you want. Okay. She was having an affair with this guy she met through a friend. Uh, tall, big guns. He owned his own business. Uh, what am I? A 25 year old waiter in a restaurant. Hey, I'd leave me for him too. Don't say that. You're an awesome guy. You're cute and funny, and you don't need any big guns to impress a girl. You don't think I'm a loser? Of course not. I wouldn't be here if I did.
Yes. What's up, fam? What's up? Oh, you motherfucker! What's going on? I dropped a 50 on the Rangers as they're getting killed. What a bunch of fucking retards. Anyway. How was she? Huh? Is she tight? What are you talking about? Did you hit it? Did you tap the ass yet? Uh, okay. Gotta go. At least tell me you got a BJ by now. Is she even naked? Bye. What a loser. <laughs> Come on, you bitches. Is everything okay? Yeah. This a friend of mine wanted to hang out. So. Oh, if you want to go, I can leave. Yeah, I don't know. I'm right where I want to be. <laughs> You're sweet. What's up, you big hunk of brand love? Is she next to you? Oh, Sam and Sarah, you guys even rhyme together. Okay, here's what I want you to do. Flip her on her stomach, grab her from behind, pull her hair back, and repeat after me. Who's your daddy? Okay. All right, see you tomorrow. Bye. It was, it was work. I wanted to see if I could come in tomorrow. Hi, Mrs. Burns. Oh! You know, I don't even care anymore. If that's what rocks your boat, go ahead, honey. Call me whatever you want. Sam, do you mind if I grab another beer from the fridge? Uh, no. Go right ahead. Who is that? Who? I heard the sound of a female coming from inside your apartment. Who? Oh. Just a, a friend of mine visiting. Listen, can we talk about this tomorrow? I'm kind of in the middle of something here. I bet you are. Okay. Good night, Mrs. Burns. Hello? You did shave your balls, right? ringing but it stopped. I'm sure whoever it is, I'm sure it's not important. Well, you never know. Was someone at the door? Um, yeah, my landlord just wanted to know about the plumbing. I think it's time for me to go. You what? Why? Well, we drank the beer, we ate the food, we even looked at all your stupid ugly old pictures. What else is there for us to do? Unless you have something else you want to show me. No. Are you sure? I mean, get my shoes so no, I can walk no you out. Come on. Mrs. Burns, did you forget something? Your lease is up. I thought we were going to talk about this tomorrow. Who are you? Excuse me? Another hooker, Sam? You just keep them rolling in? What? Yeah, what? What are you talking about? Oh, so you thought you'd get one for free tonight, huh? No, no, and I never get anything for free. I... Oh, you do pro bono. That is so generous of you. You better watch your mouth, B. 
bitch, or what? Okay. I'm gonna stick my foot up your ass, you old cunt. Go ahead, give it your best shot. Oh, fuck you, bitch, you don't know me. I'll knock the wrinkles off your face. Fuck you. Bitch, I'm from the Bronx. I don't give a fuck. I will cut you. I'll take your life. And fuck you. I'm gonna fuck you up, bitch. Okay, Come on. everyone, just calm down for a second. Mrs. Burns. It's Cece, you dumb fuck. Okay, we can just talk about this for a second. Everything is gonna be... Wow. Oh yeah. What the fuck? Cece? I think I'm through with women for a while. Maybe even for good. You know, you remind me of this guy I knew. What happened to him? He had a hot dog stand right outside my apartment building. They were the best fucking hot dogs I ever had. For 15 years, I was his best customer. Right before I go into the building, I had to get a couple. That was my only fix, you know, for the shitty day I had at work. Till one day, he just stopped coming. For two fucking years, I wait for that motherfucker to show up, but he never did. And then three weeks ago, I found another hot dog stand right around the corner from my building. So I give it a shot, you know what happened? That was so good that I realized for the last 15 years, all I'm eating is dog shit. I never even noticed. What an asshole. What's his story got to do with me? Sometimes you find what you're looking for and you think it's the best thing that ever happened to you. And when you lose it, you become so heartbroken. You stop looking because you think there's nothing for you out there anymore. When all you had to do was keep your eyes open and you'll find something even more extraordinary. And sometimes, it's just right around the corner. Do you mean that I remind you of yourself? No, you idiot. You remind me of the guy that was feeding me the dog shit. You look like him. Anyway, you just told me a lot more than your girlfriend did. What did she say? I can't believe he shaved his balls! I mean, what was he thinking? So much more and hey little darling have you lost your faith not only in Jesus but the entire